Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Right now, I'm at Insta360 Pro office in Los Angeles next to YouTube Space. And with me here, we have this brand new little alien guy. It's the brand new Insta360 Pro 2 camera. So in today's video, I'm gonna review all the new features of this camera. There's a six major new features. The first one is the improved image qualities. This camera right now can take 8K stereoscopic 3D 360 in 30 frames per second and can also do 8K 60 frames per second in 8K monoscopic. And then the next thing is great improvement is flow state. Finally, make it into the Pro 2 camera. So you can have bloody smooth footage with this camera. And this camera has an internal 9 axis stabilization. 9 axis. I'm not saying round, not 6, but 9 axis stabilization. So we have really smooth footage out from this camera. And stabilization will be a history of the past in 360, both 3D and mono. And then I'm gonna talk about the third thing is this brand new attachment right here. This is the uh, sender and that's the receiver is called far side. It's a brand new technology in the Lucy Pro introduced to allow director to remote control the camera far far away. Ground to ground level you can actually have 300 meters. You can stay 300 meters away from the camera to remote control it. And from ground to sky, like attach the camera on the drone, you can have up to like 2,000 meters. So it's really great so now with this like far side control system it's gonna be really good for remote control the camera and then the next thing we gotta talk about is the adobe workflow so this pro tool actually generate a separate proxy file specially designed for adobe premiere and then you can integrate it with the insta360 pro plugin with adobe premiere to allow you to have an unstitched live editing with a smooth playback. So remember my old review tutorial video about the not really smooth live preview and stitch editing? This will solve all of it with the brand new proxy generated directly from the camera. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is something called Crystal View. Crystal View is actually allowed viewer to play back 8K, both mono and stereoscopic footage in any devices. So not 4K, but 8K. So you can play that Insta360 Pro 2 8K footage on Oculus Go, on HTC Vive, on Samsung Gear, on any headset, even including your mobile phone with the Insta360 player. And that's absolutely free. You don't need to pay for anything as long as you shot the footage with this camera. And you can play that 8K on a phone with a cardboard. This is like pretty crazy. That is the same technology that's a view-based optimized streaming technology. Use it free for the Pro 2. And then last thing we're going to talk about live streaming. This camera now can live stream 4K but can also store 8K stereoscopic or monoscopic footage directly into the camera. So you can live stream 4K but you can also record in 8K. And also there's a lot of other new features built into the camera like 6 micro SD card so you can store high quality high quality footage in 120 megabytes per second which is great and also with this brand new antenna built in GPS so you can store GPS information directly into the footage so great for people who are doing the Google Street View and and also have a new screw right here so you can attach like the H2N or any spatial audio devices on top of the camera or light whatever you want to attach on here. And then directly you can input it, have the USB right here and the audio jack right here. You can put the audio directly into the camera, sync the footage uh, internally. And say you don't need a wire cable <laughs> across the camera to do it in the bottom, which is really smart design. So I gotta go through all of it in this video. So let's dive right in. First, image quality. The biggest feature of Pro 2 will be its greatly improved image quality. Pro 2 compared to the original Pro 1 introduced the ability to capture 8K stereoscopic 3D 360 video in 30 frames per second and 8K monoscopic 360 video in 60 frames per second. 
This will be the world first 60 camera that can capture in sensor level 8K in 60 frames per second. If you capture lots of professional sport VR content, or like me, make VR dance music video, this feature alone is worth the upgrade. So why Pro 2 can support higher resolution and higher frame rate than Pro 1? Well, in hardware level, Pro 2 has upgraded image sensors and a more powerful processor by NVIDIA. It also has a better lens than the Pro 1. In order to support high quality and high megabit per second original raw image file, Pro 2 now allows six individual micro SD card slots at the bottom of the camera to store the original video file per lens. For higher end stitching using software like Mystica VR, the individual per lens video file has up to 120 megabit per second bitrate, a higher than Candle Obsidian, which only has 100 megabit per second. The old SSD and SD card in the battery compartment still supported, but the old SD card is used to store stabilization data, GPS information, and most importantly, proxy files for the Adobe No Stitch Editing integration. Pro 2 also introduced a new lock mode called iLock that allows improved dynamic range and better coloring for professional coloring workflow. Pro 2 can also do HDR 60 video and HDR 60 photo, which will be a breakthrough. For 260 time-lapse photographers like myself, Pro 2 will support raw DNG 260 time-lapse and other great features previously only available in Candle Obsidian. The raw time-lapse photo will have a 12-stop dynamic range and lots of possibilities in post-color grading. Second thing is flow state stabilization. Pro 2 will be the first ever VR camera introduced in camera stabilization. It has 9 axis gyro stabilization and perfect for aerial 360 VR on a professional drone like DJI M600 and on a rover. Stabilization data will be stored in the back of the SD card and it can be used with third party stitching solution like Mystica VR. 3. Foresight Foresight Image Data Transmitter is a new technology introduced by Insta360 to solve one of the biggest pain points in any professional 260 light productions. Light monitoring. It has a sensor and a receiver attached with your iPhone and iPad. Ground to ground transmission can go up to 300 meters and ground to air transmission like attach Pro 2 on a drone or a chopper, the distance can go up to 2,000 meters. As a drone operator, this is a great news. No more flying blind anymore. Farsight use 5.18 GHz frequencies as transmission signal to avoid interference with the regular 5G network or the DJI frequency signal. This allows Pro2 to, to operate wirelessly in a crowded venue like sports stadium, concert, music festival, and conferences. No more dropping Wi-Fi signal anymore. Number four, better post-production workflow. Pro2 now store proxy files directly in the SD card that can be used with the Adobe for the non-stitch workflow. If you want to learn more about the workflow, watch this video. The only thing different now is no more lagging with the live proxy support and it natively integrate with Adobe. I know for Final Cut Pro user, yes, Final Cut Pro support will be coming out very soon as well. Number five, 8K playback in any devices with Pro 2. Insta360 also introduced a new player technology called Crystal View. Basically, the same POV view-based technology you see on Pixmana, but it is 100% free. And it will work with any devices, including Samsung Gear, Oculus Go, and even your phone with a Google Cardboard. So you can shoot 8K with the new camera and also show 8K to your audience. Number six, 4K live stream 
And now you can store the same live stream in 8K resolution. Beside all this major function, install 260 listen to his audience and user and greatly improve the design of the Pro 2. Now, Pro 2 has a top mount that you can attach spatial audio recorder like H2N, here 260 A ball, and etc. And have a direct USB and audio jack input on top of the camera, so no more running ugly cable. You can also attach light kit or director camera. Now, the bottom of the base have a quarter 20 screw support and 3A screw support for professional monopod or tripod. Two unique antennas added on top of the Pro 2. One of them is for the AP. It will boost the Wi-Fi signal strength. Without foresight, the Wi-Fi connection can go up to 25 to 50 meters now. Compared to the Pro 1 without the AP antenna, only 15 meters. But the most interesting antenna is the GPS one. It now generates GPS data and stored directly into the photos and video internally. Great for industry application like Google Street View or other GPS related application. With API, you can leverage this data to build interesting applications. So how much is Pro 2? It is around 5,000 US dollars including the far side sender and receiver. It is a little bit more expensive than the Pro 1, but obviously it does more than the Pro 1. It will be available to pre-order right now. If you live around Able City, Los Angeles, New York City, or Chicago, go check it out yourself. And maybe when you're there, sign up for my 360 master class, which I will teach you how to use this brand new camera among other 360 production techniques. Thank you for watching this 360 breaking news. A more detailed review of the Insta360 Pro 2 in 360 VR video format with real footage that can be watched on a VR headset is coming out very soon. And I know you want me to compare it with other professional camera and you want to download some sample footage. Well, all of this are coming next. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time or see you in person in Able Cine 360 Masterclass Workshop coming up in the next couple months.